Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix, coming at you with another flow video in the series. Today is going to be a little short. We're going to be looking at flow hit logs. Hit logs is when flow will send to your syslog server any matches that it has for blocks and the traffic that you have configured. So if you've told it to drop some sort of packet or not allow a source, those hit logs will show up in your syslog server. You can then process your syslogs and send them over to a sim, or if you have a security team that actually looks at syslogs, they can do all sort of magic and look at the information there. It could also be helpful for troubleshooting. Um, so in this demo, I've actually just configured a free syslog server that I downloaded off the internet. Uh, nothing special, but let's go ahead and get to it. In Prism, just go up to the gear icon, click that, and then down on the left, scroll down to Syslog Server. I've already got my Syslog Server configured, so you go to Data Sources, hit Edit, click on Flow, and then if you want, you can change the drop down so it shows different levels of what it sends, uh, but I just left it on level 6. And make sure you hit Save if you haven't already enabled that. And if it's not obvious, this step is required. You do have to have a syslog configured before you tell Flow to send the hit logs. So do this step first. I do have another video you can check out. Link is right here if you want to see how to enable and configure a syslog server. But hint, you're on the correct screen right now. Next, we'll head over to our security policies. So go to your hamburger menu, policies, and security policies. So Flow does not automatically do hit policies for your security policies. You have to select your security policy, go to update. And once that loads, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's just this little tick box to enable policy hit logs for this application security policy. Hit next, next, and then apply, unless you wanna make any changes to your rules. You can actually see I've already got a couple of red flags going on, so we should get some automatic hits as soon as we hit apply. So I've applied my security policy. Now let's roll over and look at our syslog server. The logs actually get sent pretty much immediately. Uh, that was real time. I didn't edit this part of the video. So as soon as you hit apply, it starts sending logs. Uh, since we're looking at specific policies, I'm gonna go ahead and filter. Uh, I was doing some testing and you can see I filtered on IP address so you can see all blocks for that specific IP. And you can come in and you can click on it and then you can see down at the bottom of the message it tells you the source, destination, protocol, the ports, and all that good stuff. And you can filter in. I've actually got too much traffic coming in. I don't know how this uh, server very well, so I don't know how to pause it, but that's okay. You can see that uh, these logs keep coming in and, and all that so you can do whatever you need to do with your syslog server. I've also uh, found out that you can add another filter. Uh, if you type flow dash hit, uh, it'll actually show you any of the packets or flows that it has actually dropped. And again, you can see down at the bottom, it shows you source destination IPs, the protocol, the ports, and the action, and then even the, the packet count. Uh, so it's really easy to figure out what traffic is getting blocked. Uh, you can filter, again, by IP. You can do filters by protocol and ports um, and pretty much anything else you would do with syslog. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And that's how you enable hit logs with Nutanix Flow. Remember, you do have to have a syslog server because that's where we sent all the hit logs. But once you do, you get the fancy dancy information. Thank you very much for watching this video. Check out my other videos or blog posts at ewoms.net or on the channel Eric Wamsley. And if you like to get updates via Twitter, you can do that by following me with at ewoms. Thank you. Have a good one.